I'm pleased to present our first guest today with the Distinguished Service Medal in citation and recognition of his years of dedicated service to the VFW. Enlisting in the Air Force in March of 1976, Joseph E. Davis reached the rank of Staff Sergeant when selected to attend the Air Force Officers Training School. 24 years later, Joe would retire in the rank of Major with an overseas deployment history that includes assignments with the U.S. Central Command in Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait from 90 to 91, the 1st Marines Expeditionary Force in Operation Restore Hope, Somalia, 92-93, and with U.S. European Command in Operation Support Hope in Rwanda, Zaire, and Uganda in 1994. Joe is a three-time Chief of Public Affairs Service with Myrtle Beach Air Force Base, Luke Air Force Base, and Hickam Air Force Base. He was the Acting Chief of Media for Headquarters Air Mobility Command at Scott Air Force Base, and prior to his military retirement, he was the Deputy Chief of Public Affairs for the operational arm of what is now the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency. Joe brought with him a wealth of knowledge and experience in the realm of public affairs when he joined the staff of the VFW Washington office as its Director of Communications and Public Affairs in April 2004 where his duties included serving as national spokesman for the organizations on issues ranging from national security and foreign affairs to the proper care and treatment of veterans, service members, and their families. Joe retired from the VFW in 2019 and remains a VFW life member of VFW Post 3391 in America, Samoa. Please join me in honoring Joe Davis with the Distinguished Service Medal and Citation. Distinguished Service Medal and Citation awarded to Joseph E. Davis in sincere appreciation and spirited recognition of his 15 years of dedicated and unwavering service to the veterans of foreign wars of the United States. A true communicator armed with a sincere passion for serving his fellow veterans. He served to develop and aptify the VFW message, educating the masses on important veterans issues, and in turn, garnering the, needed, the support needed for initiatives leading to a better quality of life for every American veteran. His steadfast commitment to the values and mission of the VFW has left an indelible mark on the organization and has justly earned him our deepest respect and appreciation. In witness whereof, we have hereunto set our hands and the official seal of the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States this second day of August, 2021, signed by Hal Roche, Commander-in-Chief, and Kevin Jones, Adjutant General. Aloha! Where's Hawaii Department? Hey, George. Hi, Beth. Uh, comrades, I'm truly humbled. Uh, it was 15 years of fantastic. I never thought it. Uh, if you listen to my bio a little bit, you know, my 1990s was filled with a lot of uh, humanitarian assignments. You know, if, uh, Desert Shield Storm wasn't a humanitarian assignment, obviously, but Somalia's, Somalia 1 was a uh, humanitarian assignment. Then I did Rwanda uh, a month after the genocide. Then working for the POW MIA agency uh, is a humanitarian assignment. When I retired from the military in 2000, I went to work for Goodwill Industries, helping people to get uh, trained and get jobs. And then coming to work for the VFW was an easy transition. And I wanna thank uh, Bob Wallace, past commander in chief, Bob Wallace, wherever he is, if he's in the hall for uh, hiring me. I wanna thank Hal Roche, 
He's been a great chief. Sorry I couldn't see you through the year, but uh, retiring is not a bad thing. Retiring, retiring is not a bad thing. And actually, this is the first time I've worn a suit since October of 2019, and a tie, definitely. And I shaved this morning, too. And a lot of you can't say you shaved this morning. But uh, I want to dovetail on what the Commander in Chief said about the professional staff that we have in Kansas City and in Washington. Uh, they're incredible. They are absolutely hardcore professionals. They know what they're doing. And I uh, hope you can learn from them. And I just want you also to know that the success of this organization depends on you folks. It depends on volunteers. 100% success of this organization depends on volunteers. And as a communicator, I want you to know that we know that. You know, my job is to sell you. And whatever you do out there, let us know. Because we have, well, my replacement's replacement, Rob Couture in the Washington office now is doing a bang up job, but he's a new guy. And for the National Council, I hope you keep, keep him on, you know, it's one of those things. I told him to buy you all beers, yep, that way uh, you, you hire him, you know, appoint him for another year. He doesn't know that uh, he's on a year contract. I didn't know that my first convention either. And uh, then somebody, uh, my first chief was Ed Banus, and uh, good man, good man. He told me about the internal politics of the VFW. Boy, was he right. Boy, was he right. But along with the professional staffs that we have in Washington and in uh, Kansas City, we also have a cadre of contractors that we hire year after year after year. And, you know, look at the video. We got video works here, Val and her crew. We got the, we got the sound and the light. You know, we got Big John. We got Michael. We got Vito, who's uh, hanging with some restaurant uh, or association this year. Uh, we got uh, transportation. We got uh, Vicki. And she might be in the back around here somewhere. And, you know, Bob Knutson, our staff photographer, he's from the D.C. area, but he tra has traveled because what he provides is quality, quality, quality performance and service. And that's why we keep bringing him back. I've had enough time on this uh, microphone. I just want to thank everybody in the Washington office. I can't name you all. But uh, y'all, uh, I really miss you. Miss you guys. I don't miss D.C. at all, especially over the last year and a half. I don't miss D.C. one bit. But I just want to thank you. Uh, everything, uh, uh, you guys are true comrades, and uh, I've been blessed to be able to work for the greatest uh, combat veterans organization in the country. Thank you.